Hey guys, Ben here giving you a surf forecast for this weekend. We've had a pretty stormy week here with little gaps of, of uh, light winds, but this weekend is something similar. We've got big swell all weekend. Saturday, it's 15 and a half foot swell with a 12 second period, which really means you're looking at 8 to 10 foot um, sets, which is going to be big, big faces on it. Uh, Sunday, it's even bigger. It's 18 and a half foot swell. Um, with a 12 second period coming from the west as well. So you're looking at really, really solid big waves out the back. Um, the real story of the weekend though is, is the winds. Saturday morning the winds are very strong, kind of onshore. In the middle of the day they fade away and then they're back strong again in the um, that evening and on most of Sunday. So what does all that mean? Um, basically you've got a small window Saturday from about 9 in the morning until about half 1 where you can get half one or two o'clock, where you can get some decent waves. Out the back will probably be hard work unless you're very experienced, but there'll be big walls of white water and uh, lots of reforms, lots of power going around. Sunday then, you're looking at a really big swell with really strong wind. So to be honest at the moment, if it holds as it says it is, it's probably gonna be a blowout. It's gonna be way too much water moving around and uh, an awful lot of wind as well. So your option really is Saturday morning, Tides are half four on Saturday, which really means about you got to be out of water by half two. But with that swell, you're looking at about two o'clock. So I'd get in between nine and two Saturday morning, or and probably not on Sunday at all, unless something changes in the next little while. Um, so we are open for lessons. I had kind of passed on to a few people because the forecast changed that we probably wouldn't be doing lessons Saturday, but we are. So if anybody's interested, give us a shout. Um, and enjoy your weekend, have a good one, and let's hope the Irish boys can do it on the rugby pitch as well. Cheers.